Alright guys, welcome to the third and final part of my PlayStation 3 games collection. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. It's my fault, it's entirely my fault because I tend to, you know, ramble on when I'm, you know, showing games or when I'm showing you the games. Um, so yeah, we'll get, we'll just get the, the end, finish the, uh, finish the rest of the collection of show. Next, here we have Blur which I recently just completed and I thought this game was absolutely uh, fun and addictive as hell, in my opinion. There was a lot of things about it which I, which I thought um, was a bit disappointing, such as the car customizations. You couldn't, you could only change the colour of the car. You couldn't like put like paint or like flames or decal or, you know, you couldn't put any, you can, can, couldn't customise them like that, you know. Uh, like a Need for Speed game or that. I just think I think this game does look like Need for Speed or Burnout with that you know with that Mario Kart twist to it with the power ups you know. So you know I have to get it and now that I've got it I um, I think it's really really fun and enjoyable guys. Also a racing game, probably the first racing game I've played but it's actually good online. I actually find that really enjoyable online. So next we have here, we have Burnout Paradise, the ultimate box. Yeah, so I got this for, I got, when I got this for a fiver, I couldn't, I've seen it for a fiver, I couldn't really resist. And not just for being Burnout Paradise, but actually for being the ultimate box and all, I couldn't believe it. I don't know if it's got, I don't really know what extra features it's got, obviously, because I haven't played the, the original Burnout uh, Paradise. Um, I've not played this game in a while actually. I played it for two hours when I first two or three hours when I first got it, played it an hour, one hour the next day, not played it since. But you know, it's, it was enjoyable, but the problem is I was playing Blur at the same time and I was really enjoying Blur. So this game kinda got abandoned, but I will get back to that game because it's really fun. And and fast really fast paced as well. A fast paced racer, just like Blur. Next game here is Soul Calibur 4. Alright guys, I'm not gonna lie, okay, I like this, I prefer this game to Soul Calibur 2 and 3, okay? Why? I'm not gonna lie, because, because of the arm, because the opponent's armour and your armour, uh, the character's armour breaks. And when you're playing as a female character, or playing against a female character, and the armour breaks, they're into their bikinis and that, and that is, you know, it's fun. It's it's funny to see. You know, uh, <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. That makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So, yeah, you can judge me if you want. But um, you know, it's a it's a fun uh, a fun game. It's, good, it's quite good online as well. There's still a, a decent amount of people playing that online. Yeah, let's get a handful of games here. Haze. Oh god, not Haze. Uh, really not too great. Maybe not as good. Maybe not as bad as people say it is. But you know that's saying a lot because people absolutely hate this game to bits. And I kind of see why. It's not really that good a, a first-person shooter. Uh, I would only recommend you buy this if it's you know three or four pound because it's not that great to be honest. Uh, Beowulf, the game, uh, based on the movie, I would imagine. Uh, I've not played this game too much. I played it when I first got it for about an hour to two hours, maybe. And I've not played it since, but I, I'm looking to get back into it because I was kind of enjoying it. Uh, but I think this game might get a bit repetitive, and I don't think it'll be too long, so I need to get back to it. Unreal Tournament 4, um, I played it about two weeks ago, uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't progress through the campaign, I, I can't, you have to destroy the enemy's core and the, the, the bit that I'm at is really really difficult and your partners are shit, really guys, your partner, your, the computer controlled uh, partners are crap, you know, we don't really they do what they're supposed to do most of the time, which is, which really bugs the hell out of me, but online it's quite good, I quite enjoy it online, so, yeah, fairly decent game, guys.
Condemned 2. Uh, this game's actually made me jump a few times, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't think it would be... I didn't think it would be too scary, to be honest. But it has, it has made me jump a few times. Which is a good thing, because I like, I like being scared playing games, you know. It's, I, like being, I like scary games, really. Uh, which you don't really see too many. You don't really see too many really scary games nowadays. Uh, I would say I'm quite far into the game, but yeah, it was like when you're doing a mission or a level, you have to like look for clues and you have to like give like a an accurate description. It basically comes up like options you can choose. Like I don't know what weapon you think killed this guy or whatever. I don't know, but I'm not really good at explaining. It's not really uh, easy to explain it. But basically, you choose an option, an option, and how accurate you are, uh, you get a rating, like a star rating. I don't know what, uh, how that benefits you, really. Um, I'm guessing it benefits you in some way, or benefits you maybe your level of ranking or something. I don't really know. But yeah, it's a, a pretty fun game, guys. Actually, I really enjoy, I quite enjoy that one. Lord of the Rings Conquest. Uh, I'm basically. I haven't played it in a while. I basically completed the, the campaign as the good guys. I was halfway through as the, the baddies, the bad guys, you know. And of course, I swapped PlayStation 3's, my dad. And basically, what happened is I couldn't transfer the data from my uh, system onto, the, onto my USB stick because EA Sports, or EA Games, sorry, they don't, some of the games don't actually allow you to. Um, Transfer data because it's copyright protected, which is always shite in my opinion. Uh, so I was a bit annoyed about that. I mean, we're going to have to start the, the whole game again, which I'm not too enthusiastic about, but I might. Not, not, not too bad a game, but it's not that great. It's a bit repetitive. Sonic Unleashed, not played this for a while, but I was getting, uh, I was getting far into it. Probably near enough the last couple of years, maybe. Uh, I love it. I love the the daytime levels, but the nighttime, the warehouse levels are they, they annoy me. They're just why are you saying that? Why did you turn them into a warehouse? It, it just spoils the entire game, in my opinion. But you know, I I, I put if, um, when I complete it, I'll still play it for the daytime levels because they're fantastic, in my opinion. You know, really fast paced and you know, really fun. Right, I'm just gonna get the whole handful here, guys. Because these are the last games. Right. <laughs> well, peered in the camera. Right. Virtua Fighter 5. Okay. Uh, and tell me what I'll show you guys. I don't, know if he, I don't know if he's on here. He could be. Yeah, he's on here. He's on here. But first of all, I'll talk to you about the game. First of all. Uh, Virtua Fighter 5. I... Uh, I quite enjoyed Virtua Fighter 4 on the PS2. It's not really a fighting game that's really, you know, like a, an amazing fighting game. It's just a, a simple fighting game, a simple uh, pick up and play fighting game. You don't have to really, well, you don't have to really know the combos in many fighting games. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think, it's, I just think it's a, a more simple fighting game, which I think benefits a lot of people because they don't have to worry about combos and stuff. I mean, if you want to learn the combos, you know, fair enough. But, you know, I think this game's just more simple to other fighters, you know, it's more arcade style. And yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually really enjoy that game, guys, it's really fun. But what I want to point out, what I want to point out here, guys, and I'll put all WWE fans out here. Why is Rey Mysterio in the game? I don't know if you can see that. That guy with the mask. Yeah. Him. Why is why is Rey Mysterio in the game? Uh, nah, I'm taking I'm taking the mic, guys. It's not Rey Mysterio, but he looks definitely he definitely looks like the rest of Rey Mysterio. Seriously, he does. <laughs> I found that really funny when I first seen that one. Just as soon as I seen it, I was like Rey Mysterio. Uh, <laughs> I think the guy's called El Boys or El Boise or something like that. The next game is Eat Wide. Uh, <laughs> 
this game's funny, okay? This game is meant to be like a, you know, like a funny game, you know, it's meant to make you laugh. It's got elements in the game that, like, references from other games, basically, which, uh, if you play games, you know, that the reference to, you'll find it really funny. <laughs> uh, the, in the first level, this guy looks like the man from Hitman, you know, the, hit, the guy Hitman. Uh, this looks just like him, and I love how you fight later on in the game. You fight like two D characters. You like you can when like you can when they like facing you front on, you can shoot them. But when like turn sideways, all you can see is like a like a, a line, like typical two D enemies. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny, guys. You know, it's a really funny game. Um, you know, it's so bad. The game's so bad that it's good. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Fun. So bad, it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> and this, I think, this is actually the only platinum game I own, and it is Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uh, when I first played this game, I thought it would be like Tomb Raider, where you get lost, and you have to solve a hell of a lot of puzzles, and then um, I'd find the road for strain, but I didn't. Uh, I was proved, I was greatly proved wrong. This game is far better than Tomb Raider, in my honest opinion. Uh, there was only one real puzzle in the game that really got me uh, confused. That was a puzzle in the library, which I got a... Uh, I used a guide off YouTube for that. But, you know, it was, you know, it's really, really enjoyable. Great scenery. You know, and the scenery in this game, you know, it blew me away. It's, it looks absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. And I really want to pick up the, the second game, Uncharted 2. Uh, it's, it's it's cheap enough now, so I might pick it up soon. Cause I really want to play it, you know, because this game is fantastic. And the second game is supposed to be better, so uh, in my honest opinion, at the moment, I can't really see it being much better than that. But I might get proved wrong again. So yeah, next game is the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Now this is this is just amazing, you know. If you grew up with a Sega Mega Drive, like myself, you really need to own this game. You know, it's got the classics, it's got the Sonic games, it's got the Streets of Rage, the the Golden Axe games. You know, they they just mean the world to me. You know, apart from maybe Golden Axe Three and Sonic Spinball and Sonic 3D, but the the Sonic games and the Golden Axe games are fantastic. And you know, Streets of Rage is they're just amazing games. I can play them over and over again. And not get bored, just breathtaking stuff. So yeah, you guys, I would really, ref really, really recommend this uh, arcade and uh, Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. If you grew up with Sega Mega Drive, if you didn't grow up with Sega Mega Drive, um, I would still recommend you get them anyway because you know you may be surprised by um, you may you may even enjoy them, even if you've not never played a Sega Mega Drive game in your life. You never know. And just classics. Uh, so yeah, next game is Borderlands, which I've got in the sleeve there. Let's get out there, okay, there So yeah, Borderlands. Uh, as I've mentioned in my last uh, basically game that I've been playing lately, I'm basically playing through this game for uh, a third time, in fact. Well, it's actually a second time, really, because the first, the first time I played through, basically played through, uh, played through one and two. Um, you know, the two just like two playthroughs. The second playthrough is like harder than the first playthrough. Basically, basically raises the difficulty and stuff. Uh, so basically, it's my second playthrough, and you know, I'm I'm enjoying it as much as the first uh, the first playthrough. I just find this game really really fun and really really addictive. I love it. You know, I would love to see a Border Ones too. Uh, to be honest with you, and I'm also I've also had a, an urge. To pick up the, to maybe buy the DLCs for it. I know the DLCs are about seven ninety nine. I think seven ninety nine each, and there's like two or three of them. Um, but I just love the game so much that I may, I may even be tempted to actually buy uh, the DLCs for it sometime. I don't know if the DLCs will ever like come down in price, but you know, I do. I would, I would quite like to play the DLCs. So here we have next we have Gran Turismo Five. Uh, I've always been a big fan of the Gran Turismo series. I played every Gran Turismo game apart from Gran Turismo 2 and Gran Turismo. Hmm, 
is it Gran Turismo 2001 Tokyo or something? It's, it's something like that on the PS2. I think it's like a, you know, like a one-off, you know, a one-off Gran Turismo game. I'm not really sure, but uh, anyway, let's get back into this. This Gran Turismo game, guys, Gran Turismo 5, I think it's actually, um, it's, it's good. Uh, but I think I just overplayed it. When I first played it, I thought it was amazing. And I kind of got a bit fed up with it because I've played it a bit too much. <laughs> and I've completed uh, almost all the almost all the events apart from the endurance events. That's something I want to point out. The endurance events, it's perfect, you know. What well, yeah, the that well, the developers actually expect you to play this game for twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Who would play a grand a grand system game for twenty four hours? In fact, I wouldn't even want to leave my game console on for 10 hours, to be honest with you, because PlayStation 3 heats up really quickly, and it'll probably end up melting inside of it. So I wouldn't risk uh, leaving my console on for 24 hours, not to mention actually playing the game for 24 hours. Uh, just my thoughts, you know. <laughs> I just think it's a bit silly, really. So it's, it's Bayonetta next. Very, uh, as soon as I played it, I just fucked myself. Devil May Cry. Uh, it, is, it is pretty Devil May Cry like, but obviously, a point as a female character, a female witch, and the story in this game is actually quite confusing, really, because half the game is like, you know, like, you know, present time, and then it's like some of the games, like flashbacks, like of Bayonetta, of a, a, her past, you know. So I did think that was a bit confusing at first, but um, you know I got a bit used to it. But I didn't really like the ending much either. Um, so yeah, a bit confusing the story. What story wise, I didn't like it. But the gameplay, gameplay was fun. I enjoyed the gameplay of it. Next one is Resident Evil Five. Obviously, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Um, I played every game apart from Resident Evil Zero because I don't own a GameCube, uh, Resident Evil Remake because I don't have a GameCube, and uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim. I've actually I don't have Resident Evil Dead Aim on the uh, PS2, which I probably should get sometime because you know I'll, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I like to own um, basically every almost every Resident Evil game. Oh, I don't have Resident Evil Gaiden. Is it? Gaiden, Gaiden on the Game Boy Color, I don't have that either. Uh, yeah, anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this game. I've enjoyed this game uh, greatly. You know, I've put over 100 hours in this game since I got it, which was two years ago. I've not played it for, not played it for a while now, actually, which is unusual for me, because I usually really uh, enjoy a game of Resident Evil. A lot of people don't like Resident Evil 5. A lot of people don't like the the location. Uh, the location could have been a lot better. I prefer like Resident Evil to be in like a mansion or something, rather than like Africa or somewhere. You know, better like a mansion or a, a haunted house or a, a manor or a castle or anywhere like that. Uh, so I, I wasn't really too keen on the location, but I think the game. I think the game is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. I don't like Sheva. Um, you you all know Sheva, don't you? That annoying character that follows you and um, <sighs> and whose uh, computer AI is absolutely terrible, but you know I I, I enjoy Resident Evil Five really. Last three games, oh god. So we have Alien vs Predators. No, Alien vs Predator. There you go. Uh, com I've almost completed the Marine. As the Marine, I completed the Alien a while ago, which was pretty, uh, pretty short. The Alien, because the Alien moves quick, which means you can complete the the levels pretty uh, easy. Not quite too much as the uh, the Predator. Uh, I prefer the Alien to the Predator, to be honest with you. I don't know why, but I do. Um, it's a lot more fun playing as an Alien, to be to be honest with you. Uh, that's why I was a bit disappointed. But the Alien campaign was really short. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I feel I feel a good game. I uh, really like that. I'm not played that too much online because, in fact, I've not played it online too much. I've only played it once online, in fact. 
and that was only just to, when I first got it because I was you know just I was curious you know, but you know I'm not a big online gamer so yeah. Last two games, Killzone 2, uh, PlayStation exclusive, PlayStation 3 exclusive, and a good one at that guys, uh, really really good game. Uh, completed it once on normal mode. I'm attempting to to play it on the hardest mode, which is is it legendary mode? I don't know what you call it, but yeah, I'm gonna play through it again. Um, hopefully, complete it on the hardest mode. Uh, I completed the first two missions, and you can I can really tell the difference in difficulty uh, compared to normal mode. You know, it's a, a big step up in difficulty. You die a lot quicker, which is <laughs> quite bad. Quite uh, quite hard. I think it's gonna be quite hard, but I'll give it my best shot. And um, you know, I'll, it's a good game. Good game to play on one as well. Uh, one of the games that I actually do like, uh, do enjoy playing online. <laughs> and the last one, Fear 2 Project o Origin. I'm just going to say oranges there. Project Oranges. Uh, Fear 2 Project Origin. Uh, I should probably have played the first Fear first, but I hear it's not as good as this game. I hear Fear 2 is a lot better. It's supposed to be, um, you know, a lot better apparently. <laughs> uh, the feel, the controls, I've got to say, as well as the same as Killzone 2, the controls feel a bit clunky. Uh, they don't feel really smooth, like when you're playing like Double Seven Quantum of Solace or Call of Duty games. You know, the feel, the controls feel really smooth and really, really uh, responsive and stuff. But it is, sometimes the controls feel a bit unresponsive and a bit clunky. Which is a shame, but you know, I still really enjoyed the game, and this game did scare me a few times as well. You know, with Alma, Alma just pops out of nowhere. She's, she's evil, I tell you. She's evil. Um, so yeah, the ending was a bit weird. I'm not going to spoil the ending because it's I'm just not going to spoil the ending. Um, but I, I I really think they should make a fear free. I don't know if they plan to make a fear free. But I think they really need to make one to kind of explain what's happened here. So, so yeah, guys, that's basically my PlayStation 3 game collection. And I, I am officially, I'm officially, got, I've officially got a sore throat, to be honest with you. <laughs> Speaking, I don't really speak for this a lot on camera. I usually speak for about 15 minutes, not a whole, well, 45 minutes. What the hell, man? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop this video right here, this video. Uh, these videos are going a lot longer than expected. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know near the end I've got a bit, you know, I'm getting a bit worse tongue-tied, you know. I start off well, but as I progress and, you know, after even speaking for a while, I start to get more and more tongue-tied. Uh, apologies for that, guys. Um, hope, it's, hope it's still watchable. And I'll catch you on next time. See you, guys. Take care.